Welcome back, Hoops fans. Rob Washburn and Bobby Broyles as we continue our CA Hoops weekly season preview powered by Under Armour. Today, as we look at the Hofstra Pride, beginning on the men's side, Rob, a tough year for the Pride in 2013-14 under first-year head coach Joe Mahalik, but a good core group returns for this squad this season. Yeah, Hofstra struggled last season due to a thin roster in Joe Mahalik's first season, but it hasn't taken him long to build a team that's capable of winning a CA championship. The Pride returns three key players from last year's squad, led by guard Dion Nesmith, who averaged 13 points and four assists per game and earned a spot on the All-CA third team. Jamal Robinson contributed nine and a half points per game from the wing and was named the CA All-Rookie Team. And back in the post is senior Musa Kone, who grabbed six rebounds per contest and had a team-high 37 block shots. Around that core of returnees, the Pride has added a bunch of talented newcomers who are going to make an immediate impact, led by Niagara transfers Wanye Green and Amin Tanksley and SMU transfer Brian Bernardi. High expectations for the Pride as they were picked third in the conference preseason poll. You mentioned all those new faces to the program this year. In particular, Wanye Green should make a huge impact for Hofstra in 2014-15. Yeah, all you need to know about how much of an impact the coaches in the league think Wanye Green is going to have is that they voted him to the preseason All-CA first team before he's ever played a game at Hofstra. He averaged nearly 17 points and five assists per game as a sophomore at Niagara and was named to the All-MAC first team. He's already scored more than 1,100 points in his career. He can distribute the ball and is also excellent defensively. Amin Tanksley also played for Joe Mahalik at Niagara and contributed 11 points and six rebounds per game as a sophomore. Brian Bernardi is an SMU transfer who brings a reputation as an excellent outside shooter. And also keep an eye on a couple of freshmen who should see action right, way, right away in redshirt freshman point guard Eliel Gonzalez and 6'9 freshman forward Rokas Gustis. We caught up with head coach Joe Mahalik at Media Day, and he talked about the impact Wanye Green and the rest of the new players should have on the Pride this season. Wanye Green is a special player. He really is. He's the guy that can be your leading scorer and lead you in assists. Not a lot of guys can do that, but he, he can do that. Game comes easy to him. He just kind of, I don't know if he sees it in slow motion, but he just has a great feel for the game, and he can make plays. He'll throw a pass once or twice every day in practice that just, you just say, wow. How did he think to make that pass? So he's a terrific player. And what's exciting about, we talked about Deion Nesmith earlier, Wanye Green, Deion Nesmith, Brian Bernardi, who transfers from SMU, uh, L.L. Gonzalez, who sat out last year, Amin Ta who, who was a, a, a freshman, uh, Amin Tanksley, who also transferred from, from Niagara. You know, we've got Jamal Robinson, who was uh, on the all-rookie team last year. We have a bunch of perimeter guys that, uh, that uh, play well, play well together, and they push each other. They make each other better. Now as we take a look at the Hofstra women's team, Kelly McCarthy is back with us. The Pride last year had a very up and down season, finishing 14 and 15 overall. A lot of young players played significant minutes, though, for this team last season. It was an interesting season for Hofstra. A lot of underclassmen were called upon to contribute right away. You know, there's always a learning curve and some growing pains with the young squad, but Hofstra finished in the middle of the pack in the conference at 8-8. Eight and eight. This season, Coach Kilburn Stavesky will have the challenge of replacing last year's all CAA selections in Amna Anuku and Annie Payton, who both average 11 points a night. She has the added challenge of not having a single senior on the roster. This is a team whose identity is still being molded. Coach Kilburn Stavesky has brought in four freshmen and two transfers who have already infused energy into the program, and she expects everyone to step up. We know they're going to push the tempo, and with a balanced inside-outside game, anyone can have a big night for the Pride. Hofstra was selected to finish in the top half of the league at the fourth spot in the preseason predicted order of finish. One player that did, that did stand out for the Pride last year was Elo Etafaroka. Elo made her presence known last season, didn't she, Bobby? She did. She was dominant on the boards, averaging more than seven per game, most of which came on the defensive glass. She also blocked 25 shots. When she wasn't stopping opponents on the defensive end, she was scoring, netting more than six points per game. That's why she earned CAA All-Rookie Team honors last season. The great thing about this team is the motivation and the willingness to step up. Junior Sydney Epp and Asia Jackson are two of those players that Hofstra will count on. Epps can clearly rebound and defend, but she also does those little things, the intangibles, if you will, mm -hmm. that keep this offense rolling. And expect Jackson to assert herself even more into becoming a go-to scorer. She posted more than seven points last season and proved she's a three-point threat as well as an impressive free-throw shooter. Crystal Luciano is another key for Hofstra. She shouldered a heavy workload in her first season, averaging more than 25 minutes a night. There's a lot for a rookie, that's a lot for a rookie, but she showed her ability to adapt and benefited from her immediate playing time. She averaged just under four assists per game last year. She's the type of player who enjoys creating for her teammates and will look to distribute the ball evenly. Coach Kilburn Stavesky at Media Day spoke about her sophomore forward from Nigeria. She, uh, you know, having a young lady like this that comes 
from Nigeria, from Wari, and how she has not had as much basketball background to watch her development. And it, it's almost like a sponge because she soaks up all the teaching. She just a, has a, the utmost respect of any player that I think I've ever coached. Um, and then her, you know, her development, it just comes fast. You know, she has just an incredible physique strong, you know, definitely loves to play defense and rebound, but now you're seeing more of that offensive punch, you know, that, that not necessarily was lacking, but that wasn't ever her role coming from, you know, high school into college. So, you know, we're putting her in a position to score. We're setting it up for her, you know, to be there as an advantage. And then she's great about finding her teammates. So she's not a black hole. You know, I've coached some of those in the past where, you know, the ball comes in and it never comes out. So she wants to get her teammates involved and just a very big positive force. So you can see, we speak highly about her because she's a great representative. And uh, so we, all conference player is, um, you know, I think she'll be motivated. You know, we didn't have anyone on our preseason. And preseason is preseason. It's where you finish. But I think that's some good bulletin board material because these are pretty dynamic players, Asia as well as ALO. So it'll be good motivation for them. Coach Kilburn Stavesky's team will open 2014-15 season at home versus Central Connecticut State Friday night, November the 14th at 6, followed by the men's squad hosting Jacksonville University at 8. Remember fans to continue to check out our coaches' one-on-one -on -one features as we sat down with Coach Mahalik and Coach Kilburn Stavesky. You can watch them now on both CAA women's and men's basketball blogs Hoop Scoop and Baseline Buzz. JMU is up next on our CA Hoops weekly season preview. Kelly, Rob, and I will be back Friday to preview the Dukes. Have a great day, everyone.